Mama Mia hair? Mama Mia hair. Aren't y'all tired? White folks find a new way to piss me off every goddamn day. Because why are they calling Twist Stouts Mama Mia hair? Because everything y'all do is innovated from black people. Irrespective of how many videos I make debunking the nonsensical idea of white people cannot do this, white people cannot do that sentiment, I still wake up every day to videos of some black people accusing white people of baseless cultural appropriation. I have said it countless times that what most people classify as cultural appropriation today is in fact not cultural appropriation at all. On countless occasions, we have seen black people put on blonde straight hair as well as ginger colored wigs on their hair. And not a single time have I seen a coordinated movement of white gingers and blondes accusing black people of cultural appropriation. But the same cannot be said for black folks. It is sad to recognize that some black people are actively trying to antagonize white people for every single move they make. And this time, they have found another excuse to cry cultural appropriation. I'm wearing my hair like this tonight because I just watched Mamma Mia and I want my hair to look like hers. I actually have this Amiga dream routine thing that my friend gave me as like a tester. So I'm just gonna put that over, like I already put that on the roots. I'm gonna put that over the strand. right now because I've received so much hate and even was gaslit on the Dr. Phil show about my culture appropriation videos which made me almost leave social media and here we are two years later and they're doing exactly what I told y'all and the issue isn't even the fact that they're doing the hairstyle it's the fact that you renamed it the same way you renamed spa water which ends up leading to the erasure of the original name and the culture behind the original thing and also a big issue which I don't see really anybody mentioning is the fact that they're doing this Mama Mia hairstyle because it's trendy. And yet, I bet you a black girl is going to go to work this week and be told by that same group of people that her twist out is unprofessional. Or a black athlete is going to be told they can't wear a twist out to compete. Or they need to change it to be more uniform with their teammates. If I had it my way, I would just prefer them to not do our hairstyles until they learn as a society to treat us with respect for our hairstyles. But realistically, I know that's not going to happen. So at least educate yourself on the hairstyle so you can call it the right name. Because calling a twist out that black girls have been doing for years, Mama Mia, your hair is crazy work yeah this is the same lady who went on dr phil's show and said white people cannot wear braids so i can speak for black culture the reason why you know some of us are offended and have problems with white women wearing braids is because it's documented black women are getting fired from the jobs for wearing braids we are called ghetto we are not seen as professional with our natural cultural hairstyles that are part of black culture and then when white women wear them they are glorified praised and even sometimes have the credit attributed to them Clearly, someone has appointed herself the director of black culture, as far as hair is concerned. She sets the rules for what white people can or cannot do as regards to black culture. She sets the boundaries. I have seen countless videos from her accusing white people of appropriating black hairstyle, and I disagree with those videos, okay? So recently, a lot of white people started recreating this beautiful hairstyle that was worn by the heroine in the Mamma Mia movie, this particular hairstyle. These white women were basically demonstrating how they achieved the kind of waves or calls showcased in the Mamma Mia movie. And some black people were so mad that they called this hairstyle the Mamma Mia hair. Now, in case you're wondering, this is not cultural appropriation. And I'm saying this as an African woman. The Mamma Mia movie is fairly recent. It was made in 2018. And I am sure that every white woman attempting to recreate this hairstyle is aware that many women, both white and black, have been rocking this hairstyle in their own way long before 2018, which was when Mamma Mia movie was made. These women referred to this hair as the Mamma Mia hair because they were specifically going for that exact look. Because if you check out these white women recreating this style, you would notice that they all had blonde hair and they were just trying to look like the heroine in that movie. And look, I do this too, okay? Once I went to make my hair back in Nigeria and I told the stylist I wanted Beyonce braids and colors. Now, 
This is the hair I'm referring to. And yes, I know that this hair is not called Beyonce hair, but I wanted to make the stylist understand the hairstyle and the colors I really wanted. Beyonce is someone that was very popular and the stylist must be familiar with the braids and colors she usually wear. So it was very easy for the stylist to catch on to the particular hairstyle and color I really wanted. If someone has pointedly asked me if the hair was called Beyonce hair, I would immediately answer no. And same goes for these white women. If someone asked them if this hairstyle was specifically called the Mamma Mia hair, they would say no. But it is no secret that the Mamma Mia movie is quite popular among Gen Z, especially white Gen Z. So it is easy to refer to Mamma Mia when elaborating the kind of cause they wanted to achieve. If a black woman twisted out her hair to achieve the Mamma Mia look on a kinky hair, it would give a very curly result, but it wouldn't necessarily give you the Mamma Mia look. Another reason white women were specifically referencing the Mamma Mia movie for the hair. And the funniest thing is that this particular lady is complaining of evaporation when she is practically adding blonde extensions to her hair. The double standard in this single act is screaming not fair, okay? Like the nerve, the audacity. That blonde extensions you're putting in your hair is literally white women's hair or Asian women's hair. The Mamma Mia hair is achieved by white women twisting out their own natural hair and taking out the twist, whereas the hair extensions she's fitting into her hair is gotten in somewhat more intimate way. So hey beautiful guys, we're here today in a raw dono factory as you can see. We are this young teenager girl and my name is Jainato. I'm sorry I'm going to cut your hair but this is what we do for living. Thank you so much for allowing me to cut your hair. So I just wanted to show you guys how we get the baby teen hair. It's gotten from a real Vietnamese hair and we're just going to do the cutting. So I had to take permission from them to do the cutting because I want to prove to you guys that we sell raw dono. And that's raw dono we are in the factory and we will take you around. So we'll start the process. All right. Okay. Hold on. I think I have to go back. Oh my gosh. We're baby. Single donor, raw baby thin hair. Yeah, hair dealers has to travel from their countries to other parts of the world to source for the hair extensions they sell to people. They find women who are willing to sell their hair, growing out of their scalps to make money. I have even heard that some of these hair extensions are gotten from dead corpse and stuff like that. Yet, this my African sister is proud to wear hair extensions and show off her beautiful hairstyle, but then she becomes enraged when she sees a white woman mimicking a hairstyle that maybe black women are known for wearing. Now, I'm not against anyone wearing wigs or weaves or whatever or a hair extension because I sometimes do wear those things. But I'm against people thinking they can mimic other cultures, but, you know, other people aren't allowed to mimic theirs, okay? White folks find a new way to piss me off every goddamn day because why are they calling Twist Out's Mamma Mia hair? Why are they calling Twist Out's Mamma Mia hair? I... I can't, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked in the least bit because they do this with everything. But it's like, we live in 2024. There's no way you don't know what a twist out, or at the very least that you don't know that this style probably already has a name already. Like it's 2024, nothing is original, nothing is new. So you couldn't have possibly thought that that this style was never done before, needed a new name, and this was the name. Mama Mia hair, <sighs> I'm tired. Imagine having a mental breakdown over something as silly as hairstyle. Imagine stressing your heart and your brain so hard to the point that you're almost about to have a cardiac arrest. <laughs> These sisters are doing too much. The way black women are blowing this out of proportion is so alarming. Why are we so eager to create a racial divide? Us versus them mentality won't get us anywhere. We do the most outrageous things, yet no one complains. But we are on the internet every day, crying over nonsensical issues like this. Mama Mia hair, Mama Mia hair, aren't y'all tired? Aren't you exhausted of never being able to come up with anything on your own except for putting raisins in a potato salad and trying to make cauliflower in the chicken? I, at this point, think that you know exactly what you're doing because I was skeptical at first, like maybe they really just don't know. No, I am positive that you know the way tiktok operates the way social media has been operating these last four to five years y'all know exactly what y'all are doing you're doing twist outs and calling it mama mia hair i have never seen nothing like this in my fine days of living y'all don't want y'all want hot combs y'all want a 
I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm tired, Lord. Can y'all give us a break? Let us breathe. That's all I know. Oh, really? I never knew that white people are so useless to the point that the only useful thing they were able to come up with is putting raisins in the potato salad and trying to make cauliflower in the chicken. Only that. In fact, the cell phone she and I are using to make this video fell from the sky. This English language that made communication with different people was bestowed on us by the language wizard. Yeah. I'm not even going to go down the list of white people's invention because that will mean that this video is going to be an eternity long. But I'm going to comment on how stupid this black woman is making us black people look right now. This same woman with this hair, this white women's hair, somewhat has the audacity to join this ridiculous conversation, rocking her white wigs, which was probably gotten from a white corpse or an Asian woman. And she's here crying, you guys should give us peace. Like what is wrong with some people? It is very petty to complain each time people from other race take part in something that we consider ours. If every other race starts doing the same thing, then where do we stop? If white people get serious with this issue and decide to get keep like everyone else, then those of you who speak only English language, how are you going to communicate to each other? The United States of America is a melting point. Different culture and races come together as one. If you want to be in a truly homogeneous society where there is no appropriation, where does you relocate to? Maybe Nigeria or Pakistan or India, ETC. And to bust your bubble, even when you find yourself in places like I mentioned, you would be surprised to see foreigners who freely take part in the culture in these societies. But the only difference is that they are being encouraged and praised for participating in these cultures, not criticized for it. Anyway guys, this is my opinion. Feel free to share yours in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, honestly, I don't know what you're waiting for. Join me in dismantling the bias by subscribing to my channel, hit the like button and share this video to get people informed. And with that, I hope to catch you on my next upload for now. Peace.